Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, three-part series about building a multi-step registration um, in React Native with uh, the compound component pattern. So in this series, there's going to be just three little parts where we're going to just see how compound component can make your uh, like registration much more easy to follow when you build like with multi-step. What I mean by that, it's example when you have like a a screen with the put your username, the second screen with put your email, and the third screen about putting your avatar and thing like that. And in same time, you're gonna just learn a brand new pattern. Not a brand new pattern, but a pattern we don't really use a lot. So this is what we're gonna do. So in the first part, uh, what is compound component? I think the better way to show you this is just by building stuff. And we're gonna just create the basic structure of it. So we're gonna start. So it's a brand new project in Expo, nothing crazy. I just did Expo in it, that's it, nothing more, no dependency at all. So we're gonna create a SRC folder with a component folder inside this one. Inside this one, we're gonna create a wizard.js. I think wizard is the name we always put for this kind of form. So, uh, so we're gonna create a per component for that. We're gonna also import the view and the text from React Native. And we're gonna create a per component called wizard. And in this one, we're gonna just say view. And with a text say, I'm a wizard. Okay, so now inside the app.js, we're gonna import this one just to make sure everything works. So wizard from SRC component and wizard. And now here we can just pass in the wizard and just see if that's gonna work. Perfect, now it works, we get Anna Wizard. So the plan now is we want to build this component where we're gonna make the user able to design whatever you want for each step, but the wizard gonna keep the state of everything and it's gonna make like uh, the next button, the previous button and thing like that. So this is what we're gonna do. So for starting, what we need to understand is how children work first in uh, React. So remember, what is a children? Children is everything like you're gonna put like uh, between two uh, between a tag of a component. Okay. So example, if I have my wizard like that, and I put wizard like this, if I do this thing, and inside this one I say I put a text of hello world. Well, if I do this right now, like nothing happened because this text is a children, but we do nothing with the children in this component. The way if we want to show it, it's by doing this that props the children. So now by doing this, my hello world, which now the children of this tag component right there, get uh, can be called inside the props children like this. And the prop children also can become also an array and thing like this. So we can make use of it to make uh, this component like re really reasonable. So we don't care about the design because as you can see here, I can design this wizard and putting some background color, background color. And now everything I'm gonna put inside that, I can show this inside the screen who's gonna have uh, the top of this one. But also what we can do something I've learned uh, like uh, a thing a month ago, it's like we can create uh, another component called example step. So that's gonna be a multi-step. And in this one, I can have a view. In this one, I'm gonna have a text say, I'm a step. Now my plan would be to uh, let the user be able to use this step in the wizard and add multi-step in it because right now as you can see we have just one children like that so what we can do is we can put a static step finally right there where that's going to be a function we're going to return this step component like that so now what we can do it's now with the static step uh, step we can when we call a component like that here have a wizard that step like that and now we can create this step like this so remember this step now is that it, it, it go inside the static of the wizard so finally it's like a static like a method 
But the thing is, it just a JSX. Uh, we just return finally JSX stuff here. But also, we can also passing prod because remember this thing. It's a comp it's a component. So now this step can receive props and inside the props by doing this spread operator props i just say give me all the props i can also uh, show the children of it but now the thing happened it's now i need to have a children for my step so i can have a text hello well and now i can have my step but right now if you follow what I try to say, it's like uh, what I try to, to do is I want to have a wizard like that with multi step like this and that. And this way we want to be able to like next the step and blah, 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 and do a previous button and thing like this. But now we start to see the pattern we can start to build because we can pass props and thing like that. But you see the wizard become the top level of this component. And this is a good place where we can have like the index and the previous button and the next button. And this is what we're going to do. So what we're going to do, finally, is here we're going to have the index. We're going to start at zero like we always do when we create like a step form, something like that, just the basic uh, index. And inside this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of the reactchildren.map. So finally, reactchildren.map take your children and map over it like JavaScript map. So inside that, we're going to have the children and the index of it. Inside this one, now what we can do is we can do if the index equal equal the this that state that index, so the index we have here, we can return now a react that clone element and we're going to put the element here and now here we can put some value right there so for now i'm going to create a value uh, because clone element clone element finally uh, take the element and you can pass it props so here all the stuff you pass here are going to be the props so i'm going to call current index and this current index is going to be the value of the current index uh, the state that index right there and if this is not the state equal uh, if this is not the index equal to the state index i'm going to just return null so just by doing now, I know what happened. It's have a plain hello world, okay? And this plain hello world right now, if you want, if I can show you that. Now here I'm gonna say inside this text step, oops, step this that props that curve index. And now you see we get the index zero. So this is the step number zero. Perfect. That's start to uh, do, do a bit more. Now we want to be able to jump between steps because right now what happened is we are inside this one. Just inside this one. After that, we want to go there and we want to go there. So all we can do this is for this thing, we need some buttons. I'm going to just put the button of React Native and I'm going to have a button right there. And this button, I want to, to him to have a title of next. Like that. Now I need to have an unpress event. That's why we get this warning. For the unpress, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function called next step. This next step, finally, this button, I'm going to call the set state method. We're going to have the previous state. And what we want is we just want the previous state plus one. So we want previous state that index plus one. So we just want to jump uh, between the step. So now we can pass this function as a props because you see, Current index become as a prop because we spread it right there. So now we can say next step. And I'm going to do this, that next step. Like that. So now my button here, we can have access to this next step by doing this, that prop, that next step. So now by doing this, if you see the step here. So now we jump. So now you just go away. But just for showing you, I'm going to say put your username don't worry we're gonna do this in the part two where we're gonna do more design stuff and thing like that but put your email and finally uh, upload avatar so put your username put your email and upload avatar that's it but now when we click next uh, we have nothing because what happened is 
the React Children map here received a, um, like you have only this three index, but now the state index here equal uh, four, uh, three, and we have just uh, two. So now you just say return null, so that's why we see nothing. So all we can manage it, it's gonna be pretty simple. We can just say if this that state that index, it's not equal to the prop children that land, like I told you that can be an array, minus one, because remember the prop index uh, start at zero, but the land, example, right now we're gonna have a land of three, but we're gonna have an index of two. So that's why we need to do this. So if we have this, we let the user doing this. So next, 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 but now when I click nothing happen, but I don't want that. I mean, this thing don't make sense to, to let the user be able to click on the next. So again, because it just react, plain react, we can just say uh, is last. We're gonna say it's last when this, this that state the index, it's equal to the this that prop that children that land minus one. So the thing we just did there. And now what we can do, we have the props here. So we can disable if this is the last one. So now if I do next, next, you see, I have no one. So now I cannot click on the next anymore. So time to create a previous one, previous step. If you follow what I do, it's gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be almost the same logic. That's, we can almost copy and paste this thing. It just now, if this that state is not equal to zero, because when we are at zero, we don't want the user to be able to go uh, back. We can just say, Previous that said like next minus one. And now here we can just finally change this thing to become previous step. So now we can create a new button like that, put previous, and just say previous step like this. So now we can do next and come back. But again, you see, now both get disabled with the same value. So how can we disable this back one? It's by using maybe the index. So we have the current index. So now we can just say, I want to disable this thing if my current index equal zero. I'm gonna just remove this. So now previous, I cannot go back. Next, next, next. So now you start to see the pattern. The wizard manage kind of the state of all this uh, kind of like UI stuff. And now here we can do the UI about like everything like you want. So example, if you want, we can create a view here. This view, I'm gonna have style of flex one and I'm gonna have a background color of example red, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, but I think what happened? I think I need to say aligning self stretch. Or oh, maybe no one. It's my uh, my wizard step here. The view. Okay, something is strange. I think okay. Okay, like that. I mean, with debug, so the wizard, the container have, um, I can almost remove the container, but this view have a flex of one and uh, the step. Pretty sure not gonna work. One sec, so my wizard uh, flex of one, he show a step here, we have the flex of one. Oh, I know, because it's inside the text. And uh, yeah, like that, okay? So um, if you follow what I do, it's now, like example, if you have the button better designed than this, and here now you can just put the align item center, like that and just put just a file contain center. So now you can have this kind of uh, of UI. Example, you have your email like that and you're changing the color for blue. I mean, it's not the production really here. It just, I want to show you. And now here we have the upload avatar. 
like that. I can remove it. And now this one's going to be, I don't know, like uh, purple. Okay. So now you can start to do this uh, kind of stuff pretty simple and showing like, uh, like I think Slack do this and put your username and after that they jump on the other screen where they say put your email and thing like that. And now you can manage all this. So th that was the first part where we just get at least the previous and next button working and see at least what is the compound component. I hope you learned something. Maybe I uh, wasn't the like, best story about teaching it, but I think maybe in the next part it's going to start to make more sense uh, with all this stuff. Uh, let me know in the comment if you don't like it <laughs> or if you like it. And uh, I hope at least you see how you can really take this pattern and make a lot of uh, like components will get a bit more smart with the logic. And you don't need like to use Redux, Mobex and things like that to do something pretty simple like this. So in the next part, we're going to just add all the, the input. So we're going to just UI it a bit. And what we're going to do also is we're going to let the user uh, get the state of it. So when we're going to have the last next, that's going to be the submit button. So the wizard, when you're going to submit, going to submit all the value we get. So it's going to be just a, a push and with the object of all the value getting inside this multi-step. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to push the code in the repo uh, below multi-step uh, with compound in the repo in the description. And I hope you have learned something and we talk in the next video. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.